Yo. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going? Doing well. Just a boring day at work. I see. Playing lots of melee. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to go ahead and just do the intro? Are you streaming? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the stream is on. You can do your intro and just tell people who you are and what you're doing and stuff like that. Word. I'm a uh, Kegstan Jesus. I'm a NorCal Falco. Uh, I've been playing the game for like there's six years, but like the first four years were on LCD with my roommates. Then I kind of uh, once I started moving, once I moved to NorCal about a year ago, I started playing like actually good players, and I've been like grinding a whole lot. Like I got about almost 700 games of ranked already, or 700 sets. Um, mm -hmm. I'm hovering around gold one, trying to break into gold two. My my goal for the year is to get to plat. Mm -hmm. at least um and uh yeah i guess the main people i like play with are like rom and uh and like i play with umara every now and then they're like significantly better and like mosquito and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh but yeah i guess today mainly just because on netplay the thing you run into the most is falcos mm -hmm. uh, especially at gold because uh, it seems like all the floaties have bubbled up a little bit and all <laughs> the all the spaces have kind of like gotten stuck at the like gold i ice. see so um yeah so that that's the main focus is i want to focus on a um on the falco matchup and i know based on watching before we start actually um yeah no i was what, just you mentioned this in one of your videos uh coaching videos you mentioned that there's like 85 percent of falcos play falco like a tier five character and then 15 mm -hmm. percent play it like a tier one tier two character mm -hmm. uh, or not tier but like i know what you mean fifth I know what you and mean. One. yeah um you mentioned that like for the for the for the worst falcos it's mainly just like laser laser dare and like get punished and mm -hmm. die uh but i don't know if you uh talked about what makes those like other 15 percent of falcos like who actually play falco correctly like what makes them uh what, what they do that's different from uh the other falcos mm -hmm. um okay so the main one okay this is a few things so you want to recognize what falco is um, Falco is not the character with, like, the strong punish game. He's, like, the character where you try to make your punish game good enough. So, a lot of people play Falco like he's kind of this character that can, like, just crush other characters. And he can to some degree, but the issue is that everybody, pretty much every character in the game combos Falco harder than he combos them. Um... And so it's like, Falco's not like the, you know, you just break in with a mix-up and you combo somebody to death character as often as people think he is. Like, maybe he is sometimes, but not very often. Uh, the majority of the time, Falco is the neutral game character. Like, he has control over neutral with his laser. So I think the biggest difference between the two groups of Falcos is the ones that they want to use laser to win neutral like 100% of the time. And then the other ones are a lot more concerned with using lasers to just kind of like, you know, preface their aerials or whatever. Like they just, like they mostly just want to get the hit and then combo. And they figure like, eh, I'll kind of just combo really hard and it'll be fine. But the truth of a lot of those styles, and I don't know, I see this happening a lot to like Bobby, for instance, is that like, he just kind of goes in and tries to play the mix. And when he hits somebody, it's great. He'll do 80 damage, which is what Falco a lot of times will get. But, like, then he'll get touched by Sheik or Marth or somebody or anybody, and he'll just die. And then, you know, it's kind of frustrating. It's like, oh, is Falco just bad? Like, I thought Falco was good. And it's like, no, Falco is only good when you win neutral more than your opponent. Like, Falco needs to win neutral more than, like, every other character. But he also okay. has the ability to win neutral pretty much every time. Right, okay. So I think that's the biggest one. Okay. Yeah, so this... Uh, I haven't reviewed it myself yet. I just played it earlier today on Ranked, and I'm pretty sure I lost it. Um, just the base knowledge I know about the Falco Ditto is, like, it's all about laser control. Uh -huh. uh, and then if you get hit by... If you lose laser control or uh, you're a little behind on, like, initiative, just take side plot. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know if this happens this game, but I don't know what to do when they take side plot, uh, in the in the reverse. Also, I think I just I approach like a dipshit a lot of times. Mm -hmm. uh, I literally just laser laser dare a lot. I've gotten a little bit better about trying to do some tomahawk like grabs and stuff like that. Um, 
but then it seems like whenever I get a grab, like, you know, I just at best get a bear off of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a bear nair while I'm falling. Um, yeah, if they're on yeah. the oh yeah, if they're on the side oh. plat, um, your main threat is like jump shine. Um, right. Okay. But so like, you don't need to like, like you don't need to actually go for the jump shine that much. Like it's really strong. It's basically just really strong. And so the other Falco, they, like. You know, basically, Falco's shield is bad. <laughs> like, he has this right. tiny little shield that barely covers his legs and his head at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if you just kind of, like, move around in a somewhat pressuring way, the other... Like, it's not like it's not like a true stalemate. They can't just, like, sit on the side plat uh, forever mm -hmm. because they'll eventually have to shield and they'll kind of run out of shield. Or you'll be able to get, like, a shield pressure on them. Or, like... um full hopping over them and then coming down with like a nair pressure or like a laser pressure is really good so like on tri plats if somebody goes to like the side plat you can just go to the top plat and then kind of pressure from there so why full hop nair over there i guess oh nair has better shield pressure data ah is it because it has like two frames less of uh yeah so uh okay. like nair shine is like basically beats shield drop shine Okay. Whereas Dare Shine loses to Shield Drop Shine. Okay. Um, but like laser is good too. Like if if they're like here on the platform, you know, you could mm -hmm. like full hop here and then land with a laser, and they're like right here. They can't really like punish you, and they probably have to shield, and now you're in a, a pretty good position to like keep playing. Mm -hmm. So you can basically okay. punish them, like or like you can pressure them exactly as if they're on the ground, as long as you don't like land directly on them with like a down air or something like that. Um. It's not the strongest position ever to just sit up there. Uh, a lot of times what will happen, though, is, like, they'll go up there, and then you'll move in like you're going to pressure them, and then they'll just jump off the side plat. And what that does is that creates definitely, like, almost a real stalemate. Uh, like, Falco's... Like, basically, Falco kind of playing this, like... I don't know, what's the word? Like, ring around the rosy or whatever. Like, you're kind of playing, like, yeah. tag on the platforms, and you're kind of just running around in circles. There's not really a great way to disrupt that. It's more, like, subtle. It's kind of like, as you're both moving around, you're both shooting lasers, and eventually someone will end up with, like, you know, laser advantage or laser control, <clears throat> and then they'll try to press it. But there are a lot of situations in the ditto where you'll both end up just kind of, like, full hopping around for, like, a decent amount of time, and no one's really getting a hit. Uh, mm. That will happen every now and then with the platform stages. Okay. Um, okay, so which one are you? You're the neutral Falco. Neutral, yeah. Okay, and we might need more than one VOD, but we'll see how sure, much we yeah. get out of this. Yeah, so like a situation like this where... I'll, I'll ignore this, obviously, but like a situation like this where... Okay, so first of all, you don't want to shield up here. There's no reason to be shielding up here. Uh, being on the side... So if you're on the side plat and they are not like... I don't know, being on the side plat is almost like a subtle advantage. Like, yeah, if you do this, they can shine your feet. And, you know, that's kind of, like, what's strong about being below. Uh, but other than that, you have just a really strong position in general. So, like, there's no reason to be shielding here. They can't hit you with anything. You're eventually just going to, like, wait for them to shoot lasers and then try to get, like, a laser mix-up off the side plat. Uh, but if you go for this full hop... Notice that there's literally nothing that the other Falco can do to, like, punish you. Um, so, so, basically, in this spot, instead of doing shield full hop out, you can do dash, short hop off, turn around laser. Because a lot of times, the other Falco will try to get underneath you. And then you just short hop, turn around laser, and then now you have center stage, and you have a laser out, etc. Stuff hmm. like that. Okay. Um, okay. This is good. I like that you're moving in right away. You don't want to try to punish uh, down air landing. Uh, like, what's the word I'm thinking? You don't want to try to directly punish the down air landing, like hitting Falco out of his landing lag with like an aerial or a grab or something like that. It's just too risky overall. For the majority of the time, like if I'm here and then they're doing this, like, right here, I would probably do dash back, turn around laser right here. 
just because if Falco drifts in, he's just going to get hit by the laser, and then I'll have, like, a real opening out of this. Uh, like, even characters who are really fast, like Fox, will have a hard time, like, Dash Dance grabbing or Dash Dance shining Falco aerials. So you mostly want to get the laser out and punish them, like, about to land, or get the laser out and then trap them right when they land. Because this okay. is, like... This is an example of, like, a laserless situation. So, mm -hmm. the thing I like to talk about is that, like, in the story... Like, if you told a story about how you hit your opponent, you want there to be a laser involved, like, 95% of the time. Okay. So, when you're in this situation, you're like, yes, the lasers are involved, and now he's here. The lasers are no longer involved in this, in this interaction. You want to make <laughs> sure they're involved. So, like, keep lasering here. Um, and especially, you know, keep lasering here, you just, and like, once you get the laser, you have a frame advantage, so you want most of your openings to be off of, like, I got a frame advantage because of the laser, and then I hit him, or I got a frame advantage because of the laser, and so I acted like I was gonna hit him, and it baited them to do something, and then I hit them, you know? So you want, you want it to be very, like, laser-focused, if you are just playing body versus body as Falco, like in the ditto, sure, I guess you can make it work because you, but like if they use the lasers and you don't, you're just gonna lose, you know? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Like low percent dares are rough in this matchup. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, if Falco just holds down or something and you early dare, he's just going to CC and then shine you out of it. Um, I think late aerials are really, really good against Falco. Uh, he doesn't really have... Like, if you think about it, like Falco doesn't have like a lot of punishes to the early aerial. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, to the late aerial. Or, like, he's not going to do like a lot of callouts. Like, if Falco is in shield and you decide to do like a late aerial, he's not a lot of times going to, like, shine out early and he's not gonna like up smash out a shield and stuff like that because he's not really that good at doing that type of stuff like falco's really bad at calling out the early aerial so that's another thing to keep in mind is that like in a position like this where you super have this clear advantage um right here where you jump after the spot dodge there's actually not really a good reason to do this early aerial even though it'll hit them uh like guaranteed after the spot dodge getting the late aerial is just a lot safer okay it's just like a good rule of thumb like always make sure the laser's involved usually late aerial against falco uh it's really really strong against him okay good i like that you move in immediately after getting your lasers that's what you should do in this matchup like you get the laser control and then you're just like boom 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 and you move in Okay, slight error, shield that, that's fine. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, you got caught in like a weird roll, it happens. Okay, nice. Uh, this is what I'm talking about in terms of like the laser opening, is like, boom, and then you just hit them. That's like, you know, that was way more guaranteed neutral than like just trying to hit somebody. Getting the, getting the laser into the hit is just, like, critical. Okay, one thing is uh, dash dance after laser is really good. Specifically against Falco, dash in, dash back is really good. And you can kind of, mm -hmm. like, basically I try to keep it to a minimum of, I either do laser approach, laser dash back, dash, or dash in, dash back, dash in approach, you know? Or, I'll, like, I'll basically do in, in, out, in, or in, out, in, out, in. So, like, one, three, or five in terms of the number okay. of dash dances that I do. And I pretty much just limit it to that. I don't really do anything else in the ditto. Um, and obviously, you can, sh you can just shoot another laser in place. That is, like, an option. But, like, basically getting lasered... And then the other Falco dash dances is just, like, an incredibly threatening position for Falco. Like, it just feels awful to be stuck in that spot. And so a lot of times, if you do something like this, like Laser Narin, they do a thing where they'll do, like, 
take laser up tilt or something like that. And that is why you do like laser dash dash approach, you know. So just like basically every time you get a laser at a decent range, just like flip a coin in your head and decide whether to go in or do like a little dash dance first. Okay. And it, it's just really, really strong. Like, once you have the laser control, it's just a winning mix-up. So as long as you... Like, you don't... It's not about getting in fast. It's just a winning position. So as long as you, like, do some sort of mix-up and don't get overly predictable, it's, like, insanely hard for the other Falco to deal with. <clears throat> okay, lasers. Yeah, this is, like, a good example of... I can tell right here, when you land these lasers, you're sort of, like... Like, you want to do laser go in, but you feel like you're too close, or you're too far. Uh, and so you just go for another laser, and then you're like, should I go in now? And you're like, nah. But this is the perfect spot to get, like, like laser, and then dash in to, like, here. And then maybe another laser in place, and then dash dance. Like, he's probably going to, like, I think he was going to do turnaround up till here. Like right here, he does the up tilt, and then he goes for turnaround up tilt. So that's why it's like laser dash dance is so good. Because if you happen to not shoot another laser, you do laser dash dance, and he does this up tilt, easy punish. And if you get this laser, that's fine. It's always okay to cancel it. But you want to just do like laser and dash dance, and you can kind of like encroach on their space after you get the laser. <laughs> like you kind of had laser control here, and then stalemated. And there's just no reason to ever do that. Uh, right. Like there's no reason to get the defensive posture here. Okay, I, I really like that landing laser you did in the grab. That was really smart. Remember the early aerial problem? Mm -hmm. Like, when you're here, Falco has no... Re Falco will never get... Like, he'll never punish the early aerials. Or the late... Dude, the late aerial. Like, I'm just try trying to say he'll never call out the fact that you're not doing an aerial early and try to hit you. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Gotcha. Because it's just way too risky to predict like, the, the what was aerial. that? It's way too risky to predict that it's going to be a late aerial. So, exactly. Uh, it's, like, it's way too risky. Like, pretty much all the time. And so you can pretty much, like, Magi does pressure on Falco, where she does, like, late down air, or nair, into shine, shine, short hop, late aerial, shine, shine, and it just, like, works. Like, it's so hard to actually get away from. Just because it's yep. so hard to call out the early aerial. The late aerial. Dude, <laughs> why do I keep... You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just keep saying the wrong thing. And another thing in this matchup is that you want to... Uh, I don't know if you've ever played Marth before, but basically, if you don't kill spaces below, like, 100, they become almost unkillable for Marth. Like, I'm sure you've noticed it playing as against Marth, even, that, like, you when you, when you get to, like, 120, a lot of times Marth struggles to kill you. Uh, right. It's like, you know, people call Martharitis, whatever. Well, Falco yeah. definitely, definitely has that in the ditto. And he has it in a lot of matchups, but this one is just really significant. Uh, mm -hmm. You Because it's so hard to edgeguard. Like, edgeguarding mm -hmm. in the ditto is basically like a myth. You get like a 1 out of 5 or 7 or something like that at min, in, like in a lot of situations. Um, so these percents, uh, if you watched... I, I'm not proud of the set, but it was me versus Ginger at, I believe, main stage 2021 or something like that. Yeah. Um, or, I don't remember. But basically, it was, we ended up at this high percent, like, every time. And it was really bad. Okay. But the goal is you want an early percent kill, like, on Falco. Like, Falco is one of those characters where you can get a lot of, you know, you know, back air down smash at the edge and then he's far enough away that you have almost like a guaranteed edge guard or like um i think Can ginger you the back air part huh just like where where's the positioning for the back air like right? what i mean is like imagine when, you, when you're doing like you do short hop full momentum towards the edge and you do that like reverse weak back air down smash type of thing that you do oh, like yeah, on spaces yeah, yeah. yeah so like those are really good um i think ginger is really really good at doing like early percent kill like he'll do like an early percent juggle into like nair and then you di in and he'll, he'll just like you know jump out and down air you or like shine down air 
there's a lot of downer just kills falco so brutally early that like if you can combo him off stage and hit him with a down air or um get him close to the edge and down smash or something like that you can kill him at like 30 40 50 like every stock probably like 50 but yeah uh you can kill him really early most of the stocks and those are kind of critical because if when the like if you don't kill them at like 50 they live till this percent most of the time so that's just like something to keep in mind that like when you're doing the low percent combo, you need to be thinking about like them dying more than like getting like a long combo with a bunch of damage. Okay. Because otherwise you end up like this. It's like they just don't. Wow, that was funny. They just don't <laughs> die. Like it's really annoying. Matchup is very difficult. Uh, don't stay on the ground during invincibility. Just like chill on the side plat here. Because if Falco drops, like, right here, you know, they just get, like, an auto laser start on you. But if you're here, they don't have anywhere to, like, land on this plane to get, like, a laser start. So okay. it's just safer to start on the side plat. Like, like light shielding on the side plat is really, really good against Falco okay. during invincibility. I would say, like, kind of spam that. And then if they... Sometimes if you're, if you're doing that... Like, let's say, let's say I was light shielding on the side plat right here. Sometimes they'll do, like, double jump, and then they'll, like, land with, like, a laser pressure or something like that. But it's pretty easy to react to. Like, you just go to the side plat, you hold the light shield, and then if they do some weird setup, you can just shield drop and, like, leave, you know? So mm -hmm. it's, like, basically Falco's invincibility is one of the easiest to avoid out of the cast, I think. And so I think it's pretty much every time they come back, you can kind of just autopilot the light shield, and you'll just make it through safely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that if you're in a situation like this and you try the you try for the laser and they get their laser instead, your only priority right now should be like escape. You shouldn't <laughs> really be thinking the CC here is cheeky, and I actually like. <clears throat> I think the CC here is. What's the best way to describe it? I think the CC here is, a, is like a great decision, um, but I don't think it's the best decision. In my opinion, the best decision here would be to run away and get your own laser control. Uh, mm -hmm. I think doing this is like, it's just like a big call out, you know? And it's like, mm -hmm. you don't really need, you can go for the big call out. It's high risk, high reward. But I prefer to play the laser game where I feel like, you know, I can kind of guarantee uh, a good neutral situation out of my laser but you got the call out and it worked so and it is like the crouch there is a call out that you can use it's just not uh what i would consider like the best thing unless you really have like a hard read like if you really know that they're gonna aerial there then like then definitely the crouch is good <clears throat> but assuming i don't know exactly which option this person is going to choose i think retreating with a laser or full hopping away out of like in this position right here to just do dash away full hop or to roll backwards and dash away full hop are really good okay okay good you moved in right after you got your laser yeah, retreat, retreat. No, no, right here. This is where this. As soon as this happens, like here, you way dash back. You get lasered one time right here. <clears throat> if you dash out of this laser, dash back, and you full hop wave land to the side flat, they can never punish. There's no set of actions that punishes that. Okay. And so you should pretty much that should just be like your autopilot. Like oh, I got laser, dash away, full hop, wave on the side flat, <sighs> reset. Okay, now I'll start playing again. Because the pressure is just overwhelming. <laughs> like, whatever options you choose, you're just going to get hit. And this is kind of like the shine that beats going to side plat a lot of times. Like this type of shine. Uh, mm -hmm. And you just kind of... You don't you don't really want to wave land out of it because you'll get, like, shield drop shine and stuff like that. A lot of times, just shine double jump out is really strong. Okay. And that's what they get you with. Okay, good. But you went in without a laser. So this was good to avoid this, um, and I think even this was like an like it wasn't. I, I see that it was like an error where you fell off. That's fine though. When you land here, you go for this laser. That's good. There's no reason not to. Okay, here there are a couple options. Um, 
you if you think they're gonna do wave dash off instant uh, back air here to punish the laser which they could then I would suggest probably like shielding and getting ready to roll because they and then if you see them wave dash like this way just roll out um, mm. and then if you don't think they're gonna immediately punish that laser you should probably shoot like another laser in place to catch this type of thing because then if they go for this and you lasered them you'd have an advantage coming out of the corner there Go Falco recovery. Lasers. Use lasers. Yeah, the laser dash dance. That's like a big thing. So right here, basically you see this dash dance you did that baited his up tilt. You want to do those after the laser. So that like that dash dance where you do boom, boom, and then you can come in afterward. That's really good. But like you gotta you gotta be lasering here and then do the dash dance. You're lasering from too far. Um, but when you get this, this is like dash dance here. Just dash dance. Uh, there's a lot of spots where, like, if you're, like, that's the other thing, where, so, I was talking about, you land your laser, and then you decide, you know, one, three, or five, in terms of dash dances to approach. Um, let's say you land the laser, but you're not in a position where you're comfortable approaching. You don't have to choose one of those approaches. Um, you can actually just, like, laser dash dance and see what they do a lot of times. Because, like, you have the laser control. They know that if they go for a laser, you might just laser them again and then kill them. Because, you know, once you have laser control, they can't get a laser out. That's kind of just, like, how it works. So, um, once you get the laser control, you can kind of make a read that they're not really going to laser. And so you can start making a read of doing laser and then dash dancing and then seeing if they give you something. And then if they don't, a lot of times you can get another laser out. Okay. How much sense is all this making? Like, what are your thoughts yeah, so yeah, far? A, yeah, the main thing is uh, NMW has diagnosed me with uh, antsiness in general. Antsiness? Yeah, that's how mm. I usually play. And then when I try to slow down a little bit, it definitely like fixes a lot of these mistakes. Um, but yeah, I think a main thing that I just didn't really fully know going into this was, uh, like, I know to get the laser, and then usually I just, you know, dare in, or something stupid, um, like, very one-dimensional. Uh, so yeah, w when I hit the laser, I'm not really always sure what to do, so that's, that makes a lot of sense, like, to just dash dance or, um, mm -hmm. try to bait out some response from them. <laughs> Yeah, so here, let me... Okay, so we're at three stocks to three, five, four, four. Let me pull up some Uncle, Uncle Punch right now and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Okay. So, basically, we have this, like, in the late aerial, and then... You, you only really want to do the nair when you're maybe here, like a little bit closer, and then you can do boom, like that. Uh, just because a lot of times, if you do like this, then like they're just going to shine out a shield you or CC it or something. So I like to do kind of like a cross up nair if I'm going to do the nair. Um, and if I'm going to do the down air, obviously I want to land just like kind of right on them. And then I mix up between this, and I wanted to stop spot dog. So yeah, there's boom, boom, like that. That's the most basic one. There's boom, boom, where you try to cross it up a little bit with the nair. Um, and then there's like this. Okay, so the laser patterns, you can do two lasers like this. Um, or you can do laser dash in, dash back, backflip laser. So, you, so it looks like this. And it's that, what that does is a lot of times that'll, you know, trick people's timing because Maybe you hit them with this one, and then you do this, and then they up tilt. So they'll do take laser up tilt here, and then I get, uh, if I got this, I would hit them. But this is kind of like a safer version where I'm like, hey, did you do the up tilt? And a lot of times this will catch people if they do something like, um, like they're here and they get hit, and they kind of, and they kind of, wow, I jumped right over it. And they try to like, kind of like run in after me, they'll kind of get hit by that. And then, uh, if yeah, if they do like an up tilt, I'm just safe. 
or and a lot of times maybe they shield and now they're super stuck in shield so it's kind of just like a good safe uh, pattern to use and uh, and yeah you have one and then sometimes you do that to go in but there's a lot of spots where I'll get this and I'll just kind of do this and then I'll reset like this and then I'll do this and you can kind of just see what they're gonna do and you're just like pretty safe most of the time uh, to do pretty much any of those let me think if there's anything that I was missing on what I wanted to go over in that spot. You can also do these, like, like, but, like you can do these against pretty much any character. Like, laser, retreating laser, approaching laser. And I saw you do the... I saw you create space and then do this at one point, and those are totally fine. Uh, laser, approaching laser is fine. You don't need to always be moving directly at them, as long as you're having, like, some form of, like, aggressive intent. You can also laser repeatedly from, like, this distance if they shield. So, like, if they shield this first laser, I can just do this and see what they're going to do. They don't have, like, a punish at all. Uh, and a lot of times the shield gets small, and then you get, boom, something like that, you know? <laughs> um, let me think. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over. That is essentially, like, the mix-up. Okay. And it, it almost feels silly sometimes how simple it is. Like, mm -hmm. there's basically two pieces of the matchup, and the first piece is, like, getting the laser advantage, getting, and, like, getting, basically, you get your laser advantage, and then you dash. And whatever happens afterward is winning for you, as long as you do one of those mix-ups that I talked about. Uh, also, at really high percent, the laser jab is really good. Um, okay. Not even really high. It's just like 70 or something. Because a lot of times they'll try to jump out of shield and they'll just get jabbed. And, you're, and they're like, ugh. And then you'll get kind of like... It's kind of like hitting them with a, like a laser but with your body. <laughs> like a quick okay. laser. Um, so yeah, you basically... It's like the two parts are getting the laser control and then doing that mix-up. And so because the mix-up itself is kind of simple... Like, you know, we went over it in like five minutes... And it's kind of the same inputs every single time. That, outside mm. of, like, reading your opponent and gathering the info and just kind of, like, mixing those, there's not that much depth to that part of the matchup. Like, there, there's subtle depth, and I think you can get lost in it forever. Like, the low laser, the high laser, the power shield, whatever. Um, but the majority of the time, it breaks down into that simple situation, and I think that's really all you have to worry about for that. The main game that happens, the main game where you're going to outplay the people, is getting that laser control and getting that setup for the mix-up. That is, like, where 99% of this matchup happens. Um, well, ignoring the fact that when you actually hit them, you need to combo to death. That's also a big part of the matchup. Like, killing somewhat early out of your combos, rather than, like, letting them live a long time. Um, mm -hmm. But in terms of, like, neutral game, that is, like, the, the main step is getting the laser advantage and not getting laser advantage to on. Because if they, yeah. if you're somewhat close to them on the ground and they land that laser, if you can't figure out a way to stalemate, they're just literally going to go through like that list of mix-ups that we went over, and there's not a lot, like, you, it's just a losing situation for you. So, <clears throat> I would say, like, make sure the punish... Like, the punish being good will determine whether you actually take their stocks. Um, but the main thing to focus on is to, like, kind of autopilot those mix-ups into your game. I literally have won so many Falco dittos by, like, rolling the dice in my head between those options. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> right. I, but I think, the num I think the thing that I'm good at in the Falco Ditto is that I'm really disciplined in not letting them take advantage of their laser control. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's the piece that is really important to practice, is that when you get hit with this laser, right here that you just stalemate every single time that you dash away full hop every single time it's kind of just getting that into your reflexes because you know it's basically how many of your laser advantages can you turn into the mix-up that you win and how many of theirs can they turn into the mix-up that they win and so if when they land their lasers on you instead of crouching here you dash away full hop to the opposite side plat and you just come down with your own laser 
and then when you get your laser, maybe you pressure their escape slightly better, or you pressure their landing out of their full hop slightly better, and then that's where you're going to get, like, your wins. Okay, boom. Got to move in. Let's see, we're almost at the... where we are before. Remember, it was three stacks to three. It was like a five something. I think it's like this. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and this is just the story of edge guarding in the duo. <laughs> Where you're like, can I get a uh, read? Nope. Miss. And then maybe get reversal. And it's like, uh oh. It's just really, really, really hard to get consistent edge guards. And. Mm -hmm. Because neither of you are killing out of the early, early percent combos, that's why every stock goes to this percent. <laughs> okay, no lasers. Laser control, get out of there. No, don't fight. Mm. I... At a so versus floatier characters, it's a little bit different. But versus the fast fallers, my general rule is that over eighty, I mostly do nair and back air. I don't really use down air as much. Okay. They have a tendency to kind of like get hit and just sort of like fly away and then recover. And like the down air and back air, or the nair and back air have like slightly better like pressure and stuff like that. Nair especially. Okay, so here's an example of like where laser jab is probably good. Like laser right here, then you can just get the jab into like knock down and do a lot of stuff out of it. The grab here is fine too. Like they're dead. Okay. Damning. You would have been fine here if you light shielded. Like just wave land and then hold Z right here. Okay. Yeah, they almost get. Aha! Look. So this is the stock where they get the one early kill. So you've been going even this whole game, going to like one thirty, and they get this one, this one combo, and they tried to kill you here. They mess up, but then they kill you. They kill you right afterward. And it's like, 87 is way earlier. Like, it was basically an early kill. Even though the percent says slightly differently. They killed you like 60. With like down air forward smash. And that puts them at like a big advantage if you're not going to take those stocks. Like early. So, okay, you get your lasers. You miss the laser shine. That kind of happens. Your shield drop shine was slow here. It should have hit. Uh, you know, do you know how buffer shield drop works? I have noticed that it can buffer, but I'm not sure. I have no understanding of that. Okay, kind of so from what I recall, it's a six frame window. And so if somebody hits your shield, just put your stick in the shield drop notch, and it'll frame perfect shield drop as if you did it within six frames of being actionable. Okay. And so that just makes it so that, like, your shield drop can always be tasked after you get hit, and it just makes the shield drop shine, like, a thousand million times easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Laser control into down air. Solid. Although now you know to do those dash dances more, I think that'll, like, mm -hmm. actually help a lot. Okay, and they get like a pretty good combo here. This might no, you're probably gonna make it. Oh nope, they got the laser. Okay, and then they just kind of got lucky on the edge guard. Like that edge guard will not work most of the time. They just kind of got you with the laser, and then you fell below the stage. And obviously, if you fall below the stage as Falco, it's just over, over. Um. Okay, we have a bunch of time left, so maybe I don't know if you want to do another video or what you want to do. Let's do that. Oh, oh, you sent it already, I see. Yeah. Okay, perfect.
you're a monster for fucking doing this in C++. <laughs> Thank you. I, it's just the language I like the most. And very effective. But, um, okay, so, let's see, what are we, what are we dealing with this game? Okay, laser control. Weird situation, but it's fine. Okay, so you notice how you went for, like, a shine here, right? This is, so, this is closer to how you would combo Fox. Uh, you don't get as many early kills against Fox, out of like a combo like you're not going to combo fox into the early kill in quite as many spots um just i don't really know exactly why it's probably like a slight difference in their like weight and fall speed and stuff like that but and their recovery obviously but like i feel like it's a lot easier to early percent kill falco out of combos than it is to do against fox uh -huh. and so you don't and remember, as soon as they go over 100, they're just miserable to kill. Like, it's just almost right. impossible to kill them. Because you can't combo. So you just kind of hit them, and they go away, and they side beat the edge, and they come back, and you hit them, and they side beat the edge. And so you don't really want to be focused on the damage on your combos. You want to be focused on, like, I'm going to get them off stage quickly and kill them. So if you're in a spot like this, boom, boom, you get shined down air. Right here, maybe reverse back air, and then look for some sort of, you know, nair down air, yeah, forward something. smash, something something that moves them towards the edge. Uh, in general, against Falco, it's kind of like Falcon, where when you're comboing Falcon, you don't actually want to do damage, you just want to get them off stage at like a fairly low percent. Uh, so that should be your goal. Like you kind of want to get a combo that leads off stage into an early kill, rather than like a big shine... Because if you got if they rolled this way and you got this shine, they would have gone up here, and then you chase them and you get like a nair and you get this whole eighty percent combo, but it's not going to lead to death. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that was kind of the back I would have liked to see earlier, instead of like the shine up here, mm -hmm. and then basically here okay the edge guard i would probably do in this position is i would probably drop from platform and do a low laser to try to catch their double jump or their miss sweet spot side b and then i would shield so if they side b on stage i can wave dash out and shine them that would probably be my edge guard here um and i think the laser would have hit but that generally, like, covers it. You kind of want to just, like, pick options that have a decent success rate when edge guarding. There's no, like, real flow chart. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have okay. done there. Okay, so this was good. That pressure was okay. Boom! Yeah, let's go. No, the early kill swings the game so much. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, the more of these that you can get, the better. And I know that seems really obvious, but I think that in other matchups, there's kind of a feeling that forward smashing them at... Hmm, 54, no, 61 by the edge is, like, it's okay, but you can't, like, expect it, you know? Like, it's kind of like a nice little treat. Uh, in the Falco matchup, you can kind of just expect it. Like... Dude, think of what think of what every other character in the game does to Falco. <laughs> like yeah. every character freaking just taps you and you die. They don't even have to be that good to kill you. So there's like there's no way that Falco can't do the same thing. So you just have to remember that when you're comboing Falco, it's like think of how other people feel comboing you. Like they just hit you three times and smack you off stage and then you can't recover because your recovery doesn't have a lot of distance. Great recovery up close. Horrible recovery on distance. So like <clears throat> it's like it's not that you should feel entitled to these kills but you should be like optimistic that you can finish most kills like this and when it doesn't work out that's okay but you should like be going for it with the expectation that like i can zero death falco like i can hit him at a low percent and hit him off stage and then kill him and it massively changes the way the game works compared to the high percent falco ditto high percent falco ditto is really messy
<clears throat> okay, so you get your, your one hit. That's really good. I wouldn't have gone in with the down air here. Um, just because you don't have the laser control, right? Like, you definitely got a little antsy here where you got the laser and you're like, nice. And you get hit by their laser and you're like, man, but I got, but I hit with my laser. I want to go in. And so you kind of just go in anyway. But the right answer here is definitely, I think here you can attempt a laser. They're far enough away that even though they technically have laser control on you, because that's another thing. Um, if somebody has laser control on you, and they don't immediately, like, laser, 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 you can actually just get your laser out. So sometimes you can make a call out or, like, a read based on the amount of space you have here. Or the fact that they're shielding for no reason to just be like, oh, maybe I can get another laser out. And you wouldn't have been able to because they did immediately shoot this laser. But it would have, it would have been fine. You know, it would have been safe. Whereas going for this down air is not safe. Gotcha, okay. Okay, they kill you at 130. That's not a good stock for them. Like, they're not happy about those. They're at 30, which means if you just tap them once and you got a, a really solid combo, they could just die. So, yeah, there's this whole stalemate factor happening. This is just one of, like, the laws of the matchup is, like, if they're up here, you can just jump up here and shoot lasers and then jump even higher than them and, like, continue the stalemate. There's no reason to shoot lasers here, uh... I would actually say that like when they're up on a platform like this, especially the top plat, reading them coming down with lasers is kind of ineffective uh, because most of those lasers will miss and they get to like watch you take up your time with those lasers. Like what they don't want is for you to use your time to like pressure them up here. They don't like that. They want you to sit down here lasering and be like, take your time. I'll be lasering down here because then what happens is they get these where like you're lasering and then they just drop down and then maybe you get caught in a position you don't really want to be in. Okay, bit of scrapping here. Oof, okay, they get one early kill too, early-ish. And that brings it to even. So you're definitely dead even right now. Watch out for these lasers. Yeah, you, d you don't want them to, like, them coming a down off this top plat should never should never be a win for them. This should be even at best if you're the Falco coming off the top plat. Like, you should be dropping like this. Like, maybe they come down like this, and then you just go to the side plat, and then you short hop to the center, and then shoot a laser off of it. Got lucky there. After we go over this game, I want to talk about platform lasers for a second. Sure. I just want to finish this one up first. Okay, he's trying to shield. Okay, missed platform tech chase. They get you off stage, but it's in a spot where Falco can't edge guard. But they get the edge guard because of the bad DI. Okay. Not. It's a situation that will happen. It's not a big deal. Okay. Should have shined there, probably. Okay, good. Oh, I love you getting out of the way here. So many times people would try to fight this out and they'll just lose it. So you just run away here, I think it's really good. Okay. 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 Okay, I like the grab edge there. You had it if you'd done a back air. Ooh, back air there probably. Uh, here you got lasered, but you didn't run away immediately out of discipline. And that was why you got pressured. This is just the spot where you run away. So, that's just... It's just like... It just needs to be like an automatic reaction in your head to run away here, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, dash away, instant full hop. And yep, now they end up at 150. It's like a rough... It's a rough draw if you can't kill them early. Um, okay. So, let me go over really quick just the different lasers that we have okay so if they are okay so there's a couple positions so let's say i'm on the side plat and they come under me and they're they want to threaten this type of thing or like they want to threaten this you know the, the shine double jump away they're trying to threaten that and i'm here 
What I want to do from this position is this. That is just the answer. That if I'm on side plat and they go underneath me, I do this. And if I'm on side plat and they back off to here, then I do this. You come off the side plat and you laser like that. Um, if they are in center, like this, and I'm right here, you're pretty safe. A lot of times I'll do something like this. I'll just, I'll just up here, and maybe I'll move back slightly, and then I'll laser. And you can even do stuff like this. They can't really punish that. Like, if you don't like being in the corner and you do laser and you full hop out, it's mad, mad, mad safe. Um, gotcha, okay. So that's another pattern. Um, and then there's, like, runoff laser and drop through laser. But the short hop off laser is, like, a huge one. Uh, because even if they're, like, right... Even if they're right here, a lot of times if you do this and you jump right here, they are afraid of, like, this. And so a lot of times if you're here and you do this, they will pick a direction. And so maybe I get something like that. And so I'm here and I do this and I do that. And that is just like a situation that'll happen. It's kind of like a dead even spot where I try this or I try this. So if I do this and I come down like this and they hit me, I'm just I'm just leaving. <laughs> Oops. No. Okay. I hate when that happens when you hit down on accident. Yeah, exactly. My controller's super fucked up. It does it all the time. Okay. So yeah, you can you can maybe hit them, but a lot of times you'll you know try to hit them like this and they get this. Boom. <laughs> like yeah. I'll literally just do this and then did it work? Nope. All right, peace. And now I'll do it again. I'll come down and maybe maybe now. You know, they're in the corner, and I come down like that. And then once I have this, then I do this. Boom. Mm -hmm. And that's just kind of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let's see, what time is it? We have eight, no, nine minutes left. What would you like to go over in those remaining sure. nine um, minutes? Oh, fuck. Uh, I guess practice is a, a big thing. Um, just stuff I can do on my own time uh, that can keep me just fresh. Uh, I kind of have this uh, practice routine I always start the day with, which is just a... Uh, have you seen that, like, 30-minute Falco practice routine on YouTube? No. It's it's un unimportant, but I just, like, will dash, wave dash for, like, two minutes, then, like, dash dance across the stage for a minute, then, uh, then I'll try to... Then I'll wave dash for 30 seconds and then shine wave shine for 30 seconds mm -hmm. then i'll practice like lasering for a little bit for like uh about two or three minutes uh then i'll go try to do like low aerials on shield in the reversal uh mm -hmm. or in the attack on shield mode then i'll light dash for about like three or four minutes um and then i'll combo mode for a little bit but combo mode pisses me off because they just don't tech like humans uh so i a lot of the times they'll just like di all the way out and i'll just be able to do nothing from like zero percent um but i feel like i'm not really practicing anything good like or at least like i'm just kind of keeping my hands warm um uh -huh. but yeah on my own time like what's not the best it's a pretty shitty question like what's the best way to get better but uh based on what you saw i guess like what are some things that i can just set up in and uh uncle punch and just like grind for a little bit hmm Okay, so one thing would be hmm, probably comboing. So in the ditto, if you can, you want to prevent comboing with up air and with full hop. So I would say try like going on like FD with like random DI. And just try to be like, okay, I'm not going to up air them and I'm not going to full hop. I'm just going to carry them to the corner and look for kills. Okay. And I think that would be useful because I feel like it. I don't see the you being comfortable with like down air shine, down air shine, nair, F smash, which is kind of like the basic bread and butter. Like maybe, like you can definitely do it based on your tech skill, but it, it feels like that 
so the situation of like downer shine downer shine nair into x or fair into x or weak back air into x there is like mm -hmm. really really important especially in the ditto and i think i would like you to feel more comfortable in that position okay um another thing would be shooting lasers as fast as possible like making sure that you're just like pew, pew 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 like try to just practice that and make sure you're not like wasting any frames because like the faster you can shoot your lasers the more um like the more significant your advantage state gets in this matchup um let me think i this is something really small but i did notice it in one position is I would practice this range a little bit. Um, right about... Actually, this is about perfect. Right about here. I would practice this range at getting like... Boom, boom. Like getting... Uh, like trying to basically close this range without fully closing the range. Because it's kind of awkward. But you can just do like walk walk approaching laser here and this is really strong or doing like something where you go kind of like this where you like sort of dash in and you kind of gain some space i think that would be really good because every time you were at this spot you would just kind of do this and you're like well i can't approach and then you'd back off so i think like getting used to being able to like kind of slowly approach with it with either dash in dash back laser or like walk forward laser is really good rather than being pressured to kind of do this or like this or like retreat. Yeah, I, I find that my movement laser is like not at the micro level yet. Or, or at least when I try to do like micro movement with lasers, I like fuck up a lot and then I'll just like be in their face. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. Defenseless. Um, yeah, okay. So just kind of like tiny spacing. Working yeah, like, be able to, like, laser walk laser, and then be able to do laser dash in, back dash back backflip laser while, like, gaining some space. Those are two things mm -hmm. that I would practice. Uh, okay. Because that range in particular, you feel very much like... It, like, you either can throw yourself forward or, or not. And you need, like, a little bit of subtlety to just kind of, like, encroach on that position. Uh, mm -hmm. That looked a little uncomfortable. Okay, let's yeah, see... It's probably the worst thing <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the thing that, in the, in the, that fucks up my neutral the most is just like i'll i'll try to like laser and nudge in a little bit more and then just actually like full, like full drift full off, drift right in laser into... yeah yeah that's something that uh obviously we all deal with i still do bad lasers on accident all the time it's just something you gotta <laughs> you gotta grind out and get comfortable with because otherwise it just makes you lose like a million situations for no reason mm -hmm. um that's kind of all I can think about at the moment that would that's not like an Same. entire other lesson because then I could just be like how do you play against Fox and stuff like that but that's, mm -hmm. that's an entire hour if not more no I um, agree I think we pretty much got through everything that we could talk about um, yeah, I don't mind I don't mind ending early okay yeah I no it sounds it sounds now. good I think uh, we got some good stuff we went through so yeah, um, sweet. Yeah, dude, uh, if you have any, like, clips or questions that you get in the next couple weeks, feel free to send them over. I can answer those for you. Um, Sweet. All right. But, all right, good talking to you, man. I'll see you yeah, at Genesis. See you at, yeah, I'll see you at Genesis. Peace. How you doing?